Hello everyone, thank you so much for stopping by. So for today's video, I'm gonna do my first ever declutter. And I think I'm gonna separate this in little sections just because I don't want each video to be super long. I am in my living room, so hopefully everything will look fine. Uh, for today, I'm gonna start with pretty much eye products, so like mascara, eyeliner, eyebrow stuff. Um, and I think that's it. So that's all we're starting with today. It's not gonna be like a super cutthroat kind of uh, declutter some things I might declutter more than others but um, yeah we'll see how we did today I'm hoping to be able to declutter quite a few things because I pretty much stick to the same things over and over so I don't need all these products but I want them so we'll see how we do but let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you what I'm gonna get rid of all right so I'm gonna start with this drawer here this drawer here um, usually I keep in like my little Alex drawer that I have um, so I have this little organizer that I bought at Ikea. So I'm gonna start with this. A lot of these are brand new. Um, so I haven't obviously used them, but I feel like I might not use them all. So I kind of want to go through them and get rid of some stuff. All right, so I'm gonna start with this one here. This is the Morning to Moonlight Waterproof Eyeliner Trio by Stila. And I actually bought this, oops, I actually bought this a while back, but if you guys see that over there, it's my freaking cats. I put the sheet down and they think it's hilarious and they're playing on it. So if you guys see my cats pass by, that's why. So these two here is the, this is the smudge, um, what's it called? The smudge stick waterproof eyeliner. I've never worn this and I don't know why. Well, apparently there's nothing in it. So maybe that's why. Have I worn this? Maybe I have worn this, I don't know. But, well, we're getting rid of this one because clearly it's broken, it doesn't work. So, gonna get rid of that. Then this one is the, uh, what is this called? The Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Pretty sure this is dried out. Oh, maybe not. So this one here, I actually don't like it very much. This one here, I actually don't like very much and I don't know why I think it's because that's a horrible swatch right there but I don't know if you guys can see but there's like a shine to it and I typically don't like eyeliners that do that so I think I might pass this on to my sister because she wears eyeliner every day then back here I have three unopened brand new um, Lancome Monsieur Biggs this is my favorite mascara and I am not getting rid of this. I usually get them when they're on sale, like uh, on Sephora, Macy's, Ulta, whatever. These ones usually go on half off, so not getting rid of this. This is the Essence Lash, what is it called? Lash Princess Mascara. This is obviously the purple one. I prefer the green one better, but I think I got this one a while back and it was good. So I'm gonna keep this one and use it up. This one's like $5, so it's a good deal. Then up next, I have this e.l.f. Um, cream eyeliner and I have it in teal tees. I got this because Jay Kessa recommended it. She said it was one of her favorites and I probably bought it like a year ago. And as you guys can see, I've never used it. So I'm probably gonna be getting rid of this. All right, up next, I have three of these Anastasia Beverly Hill uh, Brow Wiz. Um, brow pencils I have them in two colors I have them in uh, medium brown and soft brown I think soft brown is not actually my shade but I accidentally got it um, these also I picked them up on sale when they were I think half off at Ulta so I'm not gonna get rid of these because I would not pay full price for them but them being half off I totally will rebuy them all right, then here we have this e.l.f. Wow Brow in Deep Brow. This is my current favorite brow gel, so I'm going to be keeping this one. Then I have the CoverGirl um, Easy Breezy Brow Microfine and Define Pencil Crayon. I use it in Rich Brown. This one's also a really, really good one, so I'm going to be keeping that. I don't think we're doing really good in this declutter. Up next, I have this e.l.f. Uh, brow pencil in neutral brown. This is a really good option if you're looking for like an affordable uh, brow pencil. 
Um, this does have like a thick tip though. So if you're trying to get like uh, more natural brows, I would not recommend this, but to fill them in, this is a really good one. Then here I have the LA Girl, what is it called? The Slim Shady, no, Shady Slim Brow Pencil. And I have it in Brunette, which I'm not even sure if it's my right shade, but this is a really affordable one too. So I'm gonna be keeping that one. Then here I have a Sephora, what is this? False Eyelash Cleaning Kit. I'm gonna be getting rid of this because I don't even wear eyelashes. Um, or false lashes, I have lashes. Um, then I have this Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. So you guys can see it's super dried out. I've had this for probably two years now. Um, this was like the first eyebrow product that I started using, but I'm no longer into brow pomades. So I'm gonna be getting rid of this one. Then here I have a pencil sharpener. So I'm gonna be keeping that obviously. Then in here, I have a bunch of like random things. I have this, I have this NYX Multitasco Mixing Medium. I've actually never really used this. So I wanna keep this um, and use it cause I actually haven't gone to use it. This is supposed to be used kind of like with like a powder eyeshadow or something like that. You put this a little bit of this and you put the eyeshadow and it could uh, be used as the cream shadow or like an eyeliner, something like that. Um, then here I have this Cover FX Shimmer Veil. And this is what the inside looks like. I've honestly used this probably like once. I don't really like it. So I think I'm gonna be passing this on. I think my mom might like it. She likes these glittery kind of things. So gonna be getting rid of that one. Then here I have this uh, Ciate Eye Luster Cream Shadow. This one came I think in one of my subscriptions. I didn't like this, so I'm gonna be getting rid of it. And then I have this Kat Von D uh, color correcting eyeshadow primer. I don't really use this. I don't know why there's nothing wrong with it. It's pretty much like a skin color, but I don't like it. Then I have this mini Stila, what are these called? Uh, Magnificent Metal Glitter and Glow Shadow. This one is in Kitten Karma. Uh, I am gonna be keeping this because it's really beautiful. Then here I have this NYX Rowan Shimmer. I bought this because I thought it was really pretty, but I think I've used it like maybe once. And it comes, like it says, with a little roll on. I guess it's kind of pretty, if you guys can see on there. But I don't know, I just don't really like it. So I'm just gonna get rid of it. This is a Lashaholic Luxury Lashes. I am gonna be getting rid of them just because I don't wear lashes, so I don't need them. And I think somebody else could use them. I don't know who, maybe my mom. Then I have these ones here, the Batting 10, Batting 10 Lashes. This is what they look like on the inside. Also gonna be getting rid of this because I got them and never used them. So this one here is uh, from Marinus, Marinese. And it's supposed to be a tool that you use for curling your lashes. This strip right here heats up when you turn it on and then when it turns white, you're supposed to use it to curl your lashes. But I typically don't curl my lashes, so I haven't been able to use it too much, but I'm definitely keeping it because it is expensive and I want it on a giveaway, so I want to be able to use it more. Then I have these brand new NYX Epic Ink Liner. I've heard that the formula for these changed and that they used to be better. I don't remember that because I think I started using them after the formula changed, but I do like them, so I am gonna be keeping these. Okay, up next I have these two, what are they? NYX uh, Studio Liquid Liner. I have them in uh, Crystal Onyx and, I don't know what color this is, but it's this blue one. I'm gonna be getting rid of these because I've actually never really used them. I think I used them maybe once. Then I have these. NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils. Um, I actually do really like these, but I think I'm only gonna keep these two, which are in Purple Velvet and Cobalt. So let me show you guys what those look like. So that one there is Cobalt. And this one is Purple Velvet. Just because I feel like those two are gonna be the ones I use the most. Um, and then I'm gonna get rid of these two, which are which is the white one and the pink one. So I have these three by LA Girl. They're the Shockwave 
neon um, eye pencils and I bought these because I've heard that they were supposed to be really good but they weren't they actually look kind of chalky on my eyes so I didn't like them I think I'm gonna instead get the ones from Colourpop which are supposed to be a lot better so I'm gonna get rid of those all right then up next I have all these eyeliners and I'm pretty sure these all came in subscription boxes and I don't like any of them um, this one is by Jaunte Blue well actually I like that one yeah and this one is also by jaunte blue i think that's how you say it this one is a liquid eyeliner by ico this one is by vintage and this one here is uh luna by luna and all these are very very dry and i don't like them because they tug on my eye so i'm gonna be getting rid of all these all right, then up here next I have all these which are by Essence. These are the Essence Extreme uh, Lasting Eye Pencil. And these are waterproof and these are, as you guys can see, because I have so many, my favorite eyeliners ever. These are like $3. I think it's like $2.99. You can find them at Ulta. Um, I don't think any other drugstore carries them, but I love these eyeliners. They last all day. They're super creamy and they're super affordable. Then this one here is by ColourPop. This is the cream gel liner and it's in yellow. I actually did not really like this, but I think it's more so the shade than anything, not the formula. It's super creamy as you guys can see, um, but I just didn't really like the color. I don't know why I bought it. I think I was just really into yellow at the moment, but I'm gonna be getting rid of that. Then here I got, I have this uh, Thrive Cosmetics, uh, what's it called? Brilliant Eye Brightener, and this is pretty much like for your brow bone, for your inner corner. It's super pretty, shimmer kind of uh, shade, so I am gonna be saving this one, but I need to put it in like my everyday kind of drawer so I can use it more. Then here I have these two mini um, eyeliners. I'm gonna be getting rid of both because they're old and I had already opened them. One of them is Sex Kitten by Tarte, and the other one is Tattoo Liner. By Kat Von D. I don't really like neither of these, but like I said, I got them in mini, so I had kept them. Then here I have these two Milani uh, Stay Put Waterproof Eyeliner. These are really, really good eyeliners. They're super creamy as well. Um, let's see, those are the two shades that I have. And I don't know if they still carry them because I remember I found them in like Marshall, so it might have been like reformulated. I'm not sure but uh, these two colors are really pretty, so I'm gonna be keeping those. This one is by e.l.f., and it's uh, with Jay Kessa. It was the eyeliner she did, it was limited edition, so I'm gonna be keeping that. Here I have two Urban Decay liners, which are really good. They're brand new. I think I've used this one once. This one, as you guys can see, hasn't been opened. And this one is Psychedelic Sister. It's a really pretty purple. And this one is in Bourbon, which is a super pretty, uh, like shimmery kind of brown and I really really like it so I'm gonna keep be keeping those two this one is by elf and it's like glitter black liner I don't like it so I'm gonna be getting rid of it then I have the NYX wonder pencil which is supposed to be a nude and I don't like this at all I know it's a lot of people's favorites which is what I bought it but I don't like it then here I have a ColourPop cream eyeliner. Oh, I didn't even know I had this. And it's in, what color is this in? Best O, and it's a really pretty brown, like a plum kind of brown, I don't know. Like a purpley brown, I guess. Yeah, so it's like a purpley brown, so I'm definitely keeping that one. I forgot I had it. Which is why I need to do this declutter. Then I have this Duo uh, brush on adhesive so it's a lash glue I've had this forever so I'm definitely throwing this away then I have this Lottie London AM to PM um, eyeliner in mocha these ones are really really good and I also don't ever hear anybody talking about them these are super super creamy and they stay on really well but I still prefer the essence but this one's really good I have this NYX uh, full black what is it eyeliner and this shade is really pretty it's like a grayish black 
so I'm keeping that one. I have this body, what is it called? Bodyography in midnight blue. This one I believe also came in um, subscription box and it's that really pretty blue right there. So I'm gonna be keeping that one. I have this, what is this? Urban Decay 24 seven glide on pencil. This one's in black and it's a mini. I need to sharpen it, but this one's also really good. Then we're down to three. I have a Stila uh, Lionfish uh, eyeliner. There's nothing wrong with this one, but I just don't really like it. So I'm gonna be getting rid of that one. This Marc Jacobs, uh, I forget what these are called, but it's pretty much their black liner. This one came in a, like a sample or something like that, but it's kind of dried out. So I think I'm gonna get rid of it. And then I have this last LA Girl Glide On Gel Pencil. And I'm gonna be getting rid of that one as well. All right, so up next I have these, this little, these little containers. And these ones I keep in my drawer that I kind of use every day, but I don't use it every day, so I need to get rid of some. First one here is, is this uh, Joe Brow To Me Brow Top Coat. I did not like this. My brows are crazy and they don't ever stay up. So when they're not good, then they don't stay up. And this one is not very good. So I'm gonna be getting rid of that. All right, then I have this next Control Freak Eyebrow uh, Gel. I don't like this. It doesn't work for my brows. So I'm gonna be getting rid of it. Then up next, I have this Milani, not Milani, Milani Stay Put brow shaping gel this also does not work they had another one which i got rid of because it was old which was amazing and then they changed the formula and they gave us this and this does not work so i'm going to be getting rid of that one then i have this uh morphe brow gel this one's okay it's actually not bad so i'm going to keep it and finish it up then i have these two color pop uh, brow boss gel these ones are not the best but they do work so I am gonna uh, keep them and finish them up I have them in clear and uh, dark brown this one is a really good one this one's white essence and it's their make me brow eyebrow gel mascara and I have it in uh, brownie brows and then I have a mini gimme brow by a benefit this one is good however it's not the best again so I am going to be keeping that one uh, then I have this uh, morphe brow uh, pomade and this is what it looks like I did a video on this one a while 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 back and I did like it but I don't use brow gels very much I have it in Java so I think I'm going to be passing this on just not because it's bad, but because I don't really use it. I feel like you need a lot of time for this and I don't like putting that much time in my brow. So I'm going to be passing this along. Uh, this one here is by Maybelline and it's called the uh, Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer. This thing is amazing. It's in deep brown, but they discontinued it. So my heart is broken because this thing is one of the only ones that keeps my brows in place but i am keeping it so i can finish it up then i have a monsieur big by lancome mascara obviously i'm keeping this because i love it the volume um stylist by essence this one was okay i didn't love it um but i definitely want to just finish it up this one was by tarte is their big ego mascara this one's okay i don't really like it so i might just pass it along this one is by uh collab and this their high rise insane length mascara this one i bought it because um coffee break with danny recommended it but i don't know i think her lashes must be very different from mine because they did not work or it did not work for me as it did for her so i'm gonna be getting rid of that one then here i have the trustique um, mascara so pretty much the point of this is that it comes with an eyelash curler and then you twist it and it has a mascara which I think it's weird I don't like it and it actually doesn't really do much so I am going to be getting rid of that one uh, the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara this one I actually kind of enjoyed uh, I think it 
did a pretty good job. It wasn't amazing. It doesn't surpass my Lancome, but it was good. So I'm going to finish that one up. This one is by ColourPop and is the Volumizing Mascara. I have it in Blue Your Mind. So obviously it's in blue. And this one is beautiful. I need to buy it in other colors because it's just really good. Then I have a ton of mini mascaras, which I never use. So I'm going to be getting rid of them. This one here is the Smashbox Super Fan. Then I have the Marcel, what is this called? Extension Plus, whatever. Uh, then I have a, I don't even know what these are. Sumptuous Extreme, I don't know. Mascara, I have a Dior mascara and then I have a Clinique mascara the only one I'm going to keep is this one here which is the Too Faced uh forget what it's called Damn Girl mascara this one was really good so I am going to be keeping this one and then I have this which is supposed to be an eyeliner I think it came in like a sample it's by Tarte and it's one of those like nude eyeliners which are supposed to wake you up which is quite it's called fake awake so I need to use this up then I have this eyeliner so these are going to be eyeliners I think almost all of them this is by pretty bulgur and it's the ink backlist eyeliner so this is a cream liner that you're supposed to put inside and then obviously you line your eyes but um this one's really good I really really like the formula it stayed on really well but again, I'm lazy. I don't like to have to dip into things, get a brush, clean the brush off and all that stuff. I want something that's easy, ready to go. So I never finish this up, but this is a good formula. I would recommend it, but it's not something that I reach for every day. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pass it along. Then I have this e.l.f. I think it's a eye primer. I did not like this, so I'm gonna be getting rid of it. Uh, next, I have this NYX uh, Glitter. Uh, primer this one's really really good I love to put this under anything that's going to be either shimmery or glittery so that it can stick to it and it does a really good job I've heard that if you put this like on your nose like where your glasses go uh go it actually keeps your makeup in place better I have not tried that but I need to try it it's supposed to be a pretty good trick so I'm going to be keeping that one this one I bought on Amazon I don't even know what brand it is I'll link it below if I find it oh it's right there gay go gao gao tang i don't know eyeliner it's supposed to be like the best rated eyeliner on amazon it's not prime so it takes like weeks to arrive but it's supposed to be like one of the best eyeliners that you can buy i have not tried it very much but um i don't know i'll think about this one i'm not sure if i want to get keep it or not because i think it's also glossy so i might put it in a maybe pile then I have this Milani Stay Put Matte 17 Hour Liner. This one's good. I just don't like the tip. It's like a plastic tip. So it's kind of hard to apply your eyeliner. So I think I might give this one to my sister so that she can finish it off. Then I have this e.l.f. Uh, makeup remover kind of thing. So pretty much the point of this is that when you're doing your eyeliner, you just kind of clean it up with this. However, it is dried up. So I'm going to be throwing it away. Excuse me. Then I have this Morphe O Brow Baby um, pencil. It's supposed to be to carve out your brow. So it's pretty much like a skin color, which uh, I think you guys can see it a little bit. I don't like these. I don't carve my brow, so I am going to be getting rid of it. Then I have this Milani Eye Tech Extreme Liquid Liner. Again, same thing as the other one. It has that plastic applicator, which I don't enjoy very much. So I am going to be passing this along. Then I have this uh, liquid liner by The Balm. This one is really, really good eyeliner. I do like the applicator on this one. I don't know how much different it is from the other ones, but the eyeliner, it's really, really good. It's really matte and it stays in place really well. So I'm gonna be keeping that one. Then I have this Lock Heavy Metal One and Done Brow Stick. And this is supposed to be pretty much a shimmer for your brow bone. I think I could use, you could use this as a eyeshadow. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I would use this because I don't really use the color, color. So I guess I'll just get rid of it. 
Then I have this Hank and Henry Stick With It eyeliner. I think this is in brown. Yeah, it's a brow liner. Brown eyeliner. So I am going to be keeping that because I don't have a lot of brow liners. Brown liners. And it's pretty good. This is the Milani eyeshadow primer. I don't really use primers very much just because um, I use my concealer most of the time. But I am going to keep it because it's good and it's brand new. And then I have this Wet and Wild uh, Single Shadow in Brulee. This is really good to set your lid if you're near my skin tone or lighter because um, it has a lot of color to it, as you guys can see. And it sets your eyes really, really pretty. So I am going to be keeping that one. I don't know if it's discontinued though because I think they someone said that it was, but I'm not sure. Then here I have an LA Girl um, Shady Slim Brow Pencil and this one is in Espresso. This one is a good eyebrow pencil. I really like it. It's super affordable. Um, I don't know if this shade really matches me, but I am going to keep it so I can finish it. Then I have a, what is this? Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Retractable Brow Pencil. This is like the ones that have that, uh, what is it called? That uh, teardrop kind of tip. And it's supposed to be a lot easier to use. It's good, I like it, so I'm gonna keep it. Then I have another LA Girl. Why do I have two? I don't know, uh, one that's in Brunette, the other one is in so I think the brunette matches me more, so oh well. I'm just going to keep both of them. Then I have this uh, CoverGirl in Rich Brown. This is a really good brow pencil, so I am going to be keeping that one. Uh, then I have this Morphe, uh, what's it called? Micro Brow Pencil in Java. This one is a really, really, really dark. <gasps> I think it dried out. Oh, well. Oh, there it goes. Um, what the heck is on it? So I guess this is dried out, so I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not, but I'll probably pass it along or throw it away. But this is a good eyebrow pencil. It's not my favorite, um, but I would recommend it. It's super affordable. Then here I have a BDB Universal Brow Pencil. I don't understand how these are called Universal because this is a brown, so... If you have black brows, this is not going to work for you. Um, I didn't really like this. I don't like the tip, so I am going to be getting rid of it. Then I have this Brow Power by It Cosmetics. This is also universal uh, taupe. This one's really good. Um, I don't have anything bad to say about it. It's not my favorite, but I just stopped using it because I had other ones I preferred more. But I think this dried out, so I'm probably going to be getting rid of it. Then I have this e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. I've heard a lot of people say they like it, and I thought this one was the worst. It removed probably half of my brow hairs. I don't know. I don't know how people like this. It's super rough on my brows, and I don't want it. Pass it on, so I'm just going to throw it away. And then I have this Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Pencil. This one's another one of those, like, teardrop kind of things. Um, this one's good for, like, filling in your brows really fast. Um, I think this one dried out as well. Wow, I need to start getting going through my brow pencils better or faster because um, But this one was a really good one. I have it in deep brown. I just Didn't reach for it much. So it dried out obviously So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this one away and then last but not least I have this uh, brow pal Eyebrow powder by the balm and it's pretty much what it sounds like. It is a brow powder. So you dip your brush in there and you fill in your brows. I guess this works if you have brows. If you don't have a lot of brows, it's just going to look like powder all over your brows. So I wouldn't recommend it, but it is good. Um, I don't reach for it much because I'm lazy, but I would recommend it if you're looking for a brow powder. All right, so this is an overview of um, what my stuff looks like now. This is all the stuff I'm going to be getting rid of giving away, throwing away, whatever, and this is the stuff that I'm keeping. Um, I think I did pretty good for being my first declutter. Uh, I wish I could have gotten rid of more, but I'm not gonna get rid of stuff up that obviously I like or that I'm gonna use because I have a lot of backups, as you guys can see over there, of things that I really enjoy because I like saving money. So whenever there's a sale, I usually will stock up on things. So I have a lot of brand new things that I need to go through, but yeah. So that is going to be it for this video. 
Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys found it entertaining at the least, but that's going to be it for today. I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing next. Maybe, ooh, I don't know. I think my blushes, highlights, and bronzers will be next because I need to tackle that for sure. But anyways, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe, comment below if you enjoyed this video, what you guys would like to see next. And that's it. See you guys on my next one. Bye.